pay cuts, job losses, longer working hours. Well, that was 200 years ago in England. Today we have uh, job losses, pay cuts, longer working hours. But at least we don't get sent to prison for seven years just for joining a union. The Toll Puddle Martyrs were a group of 19th century farm workers who were arrested for and convicted of swearing a secret oath as members of a friendly society of agricultural labourers. These societies would become the trade unions of today. After sentence was pronounced, the working classes rose up in support of the martyrs and an 800,000 strong petition was delivered to Parliament. After three years, the government relented and the men returned home with free pardons and as heroes. The story of the Toll Puddle Martyrs and the campaign that freed them inspires the fight onwards. The annual festival reflects the spirit of those prepared to stand up and be counted, and it's a joyful celebration of solidarity. Comrades, I come to Toll Puddle every year to recharge my batteries. Because when I'm here, I realize there are millions of people just like ourselves who want what we want, who want peace, want justice, want democracy, want equality. And these are the values which bring us here. And we celebrate them because of the sacrifice made by the Tolpadra martyrs who accepted a prison sentence as slaves in Australia because they were not prepared to abandon the right to form a trade union. And when you look at the, uh, what the work of the trade union movement is, with, represented here with all the banners, they protect people's pay, they protect their conditions, they protect their pensions, they give them dignity, they bring the interests of trade unionists into the public life, and without trade unions, we would be a completely uncivilized country. And so we recognize, we recognize the importance of trade unionism. And I would like to congratulate Nigel Costley and all the others who make Troll Puddle possible because it gives us a chance to celebrate this together. Now, why do we come? Well, we come partly for that reason, but partly because things are very difficult at the moment. Trade unions are being attacked. Wages are being attacked. Jobs are very hard to get for young people. Pensions are threatened. And uh, we ask ourselves, when we look at these problems, how can we possibly win? And then you look at the Toll Puddle Martyrs and you realize that they won because they wouldn't give way. They were threatened, they suffered, but they would not give way, and as a result of that, they won. And that is the spirit in which we win. We win when people say no. We will not accept injustice, we will not accept war, we will not accept what's going on. We want something better. And I think every generation in human history has had two flames burning in their hearts. The flame of anger against injustice and the flame of hope that you could build a better world. And anger and injustice and hope are the main sources for progress. And so I think you come as I come here today to be reminded of how to do it, that it has happened, that it can happen, that it will happen, but it will only happen if we do it together. And that is the message of solidarity. So thank you very much for inviting me. I'm deeply honored to be here. I'm an old man now. Oh! Oh! I, have been, uh, I have been inspired. I have been inspired by the Cold Puddle demonstration. I'm inspired by it today. And I feel that if we can carry that inspiration into our daily lives and make it real, we can change things for the better. And that is what the Labour movement is all about. Thank you very much.